So my name is Céline Ross. I'm a genome educator in Canada. And uh, well, there's no mistake, today is Tuesday. I know you're, um, you used to see me on Wednesday, but this is the month of the national, um, it, it is the national sewing month. So uh, I'm on Tuesdays, okay? So I know, I just want to t say one thing before we start the project, not the project, the little class, I should say, or the little demo. Um, I'm happy to, to, to read all your comments after the live because uh, too many things at the same time, my, my poor brain, because I don't have, uh, I don't have a, a software in my, uh, or, 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 or this in my head. Um, I answer you, you know that, okay? But you tell me your name and you tell me you're watching from somewhere, uh, your city, okay? I would like, a, a need, a need a big favor. I would like you to um, add which model of Janome machine you own, just for me to get ready. You know, you have to prepare your classes and then this is, this is um, cooking in my head long time before. So if I know which machine you have, I can prepare project for to touch everybody. So this month I have to listen to my superior, Janome America. And uh, today I'm working on the M7. But even if I work on the M7, there's many little things that I will show, many icons, many, a few icons, <laughs> many, because uh, not many, 30 minutes, uh, whoo, speed up, Céline, huh? So um, there's icon you may have on your sewing machine, which is not the M7, the Continental M7 model. So just follow it. Maybe you'll, you'll learn something. We have nice big machine and there's so much the machine can give us. We don't remember everything. We don't see everything. So I suggest you to stay until the end to, uh, to and, and even if you don't have an M7, to look the demonstration, okay? So I'll touch the other screen and I hope you see me. Yeah, we have a, a 30 second delay, I believe, um, in between uh, the camera and the, uh, the iPad. Okay, so today we will look at the hand stitch style decorative stitches. Very easy because the, uh, the category and the function is already in the machine. But uh, there's a few things to observe to achieve a nice, uh, a nice work, okay? So this is my sample. I'll try to not hit the camera, but it's hard. I have to move it because I want you to see well. So this kind of red is a regular thread like a size 50, but here I'm size 40. So I'll show you size 50, 40, 30. You'll see the, the difference in between all of them. So all the stitches are in this sample. I saw them all because, you know, you really want to see everything. Eh? Maybe if I turn it, you'll see different stitches that you will recognize. Okay, now I'm going to the sewing machine. And to prove you, or not to prove, for you, to make you understand how it works. So I'll first go on decorative stitches, heirloom, and it is, I'm, I'm choosing my category heirloom, and then I'm choosing this icon that shows me all the stitches in this category okay i don't have the right one here i want a pictogram i'm sorry pictogram i want to see all the designs so i choose this design here you see the t-shirt and the pair of pants or jogging or okay i choose this design because it's national sewing month sewing clothes so it works and it goes together so I'm going to choose this design. I'm in a regular <clears throat> decorative stitches, 
okay? And if I sew it, this is what I'm going to get. Perfect stitches, the t-shirt, the, the pair of pants there. As, as long as I sew, everything is perfect the same, you know? This t-shirt is the same design as the, this t-shirt, and I keep going, okay? So one sequence is this sequence. One t-shirt, one pair of pants. I have four, four sequence. I'm going to use this design all the way, all the time, I should say all the time, um, because I want you to compare while I'm sewing. Now here we have, this design is in the regular category, but you have, we have another category here, and I put my, um, my screen in English just for you, hand stitch style. So that means you can, you know, when we sew with the sewing machine, <laughs> it's perfect. When we sew by hand, well, it's a little bit, and it's okay. There's no problem there. But the machine will create the, the hand stitch style for you. So I'll go and see. I want the same design, which is the t-shirt and the pair of pants. I choose only one design. Okay, I will remove my sample and, and the camera, oh, whoops, move the camera, move everything. Okay, remove this. And don't forget uh, your thread holder. Okay, this prevents, uh, I don't know how you call that. I would say bird's nest, but uh, maybe I'm not, uh, maybe I'm wrong, okay? So I'm choosing, I choose the same design. I have size 50 thread. So I'm sewing one sequence. It's sewing the second sequence because I want to do four like this one here. Okay, three sequence. And the fourth sequence. So I'm going to ask my machine by pressing the lock stitch, I'm asking my machine to stop at the end of the sequence. And let's see what I have there. So the, my habit is when I'm finished, I take my thread and I'm putting it right away. You know, it's an habit. Huh? So when you do it, when you start to do it, you're okay. You'll never forget it. Look the difference between the two. You know, this is a um, hand lock stitch. You know, it's like a, you, you, you. It's not as precise as, as this one, but if you notice, the same angle is the same angle is repeating. Oh, is the machine can do better than this? Of course it can. Okay. So, so, I'm coming back to my screen, and I'm going to press this uh, uh, three more times, okay? Pay attention to the design is here. So, you will see that the t-shirt and the pair of pants will look different. They're not exactly, you see, this one is straight, this one has an angle, this one has another angle. So by pressing the same design a few times, okay, put the camera like this. Can I zoom? Oh yes. Okay. Don't forget, I'm with uh, I'm with um, size 50. So the t-shirt, the pants. So I have one sequence, second sequence. And I'm full speed, I'm, I'm not worried because it's decorative stitches. I'm using my uh, foot F2 or uh, F1 or F foot F2. So my last sequence, I asked my machine to stop by pressing the lock stitch button. Cut thread. Pull my work towards the left side to be able to pick up my 
of a thread, clip my my low, uh, my uh, the, the thread at the beginning. Look, look, the pants are not. Whoops! Look, the pants are not the same design. Okay, they're they're a little bit just. It's not much. Huh? It's just a little bit. Okay. And the t-shirt is not the same. You see here is an angle. Here it's straight. Oh, on the other side. So you see, the machine does it for you different. Like when you, if you're sewing at uh, with your hand, you see the you see the the result now. And I use thread size fifty. I use the general made thread. I'll try not to hit the camera. Whoops. I tried not to hit the camera and I did it good. Okay, so I'm using Genome Red, size 50. Okay, it's a two ply and uh, size 50. But this, the, 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 the application, because I have M7 now. And M7, you're allowed to not allowed you you can download a free application and the application's name is AccuSparks and the application works with the uh, QR code this is a QR code I cannot show you the application because I'm using my cell phone to uh, to film okay for the close-up so Ah, not nice, not good. I didn't do it. I didn't do it good in front of the whole family. Okay, here. Okay. So now I have a thicker thread, and I'm using. I have a thicker thread. They suggest the application suggests me size thirty to achieve um, a nice effect. And I'm using the purple tip needle. Purple tip needle is, um, if I read it to you, <laughs> the English would be better. Purple tip needle effectively prevents skip stitches, especially with nine millimeter. I have to add this, okay? Uh, when sewing stretch fabric, a quilt fabric, uh, quilt layer, and also sewing across the end, that means in the uh, with the stretch, okay? I really, when I, I use my decorative stitches with a nine millimeter width. For sure, I use purple tip needle. Janome, of course, huh? Janome, purple tip for all Janome models. I say nine millimeter, of course, nine millimeter, but uh, seven millimeter is, is okay, yeah? So, I'm sewing. You'll see the difference. So, now I have one sequence second sweet sequence i want to do exactly the same thing because then we can compare third sequence and when i'm at my fourth sequence i ask my machine lock stitch you see it's blinking okay and it's not such a thick thread so i can use my thread cutter remove everything this is my beginning the beginning of my thread look at the nice difference look at the difference see the detail it, it, it gives you you see it better you, you see the detail the detail better okay so this is what I want to show you but it's not finished I want to tell you about uh, the back. You see, there's a thread cutter. It's consistent, the cutting length. Consistent. Just This is just wonderful. If you don't want them, of course you cut them, but you leave the nut. Now, if you don't leave the little nut, <laughs> uh, it will uh, go away. And because I used... I uh, will put the camera further because this is the way I present you my panel of exercise it's it's exercise you know I'll do nothing with this so I will remove it to prove you something 
I hope you know we have an extra lift up. I want to show you the reverse of my work. No nest, bird's nest or uh, tick thread at the beginning. This is the wrong side of the fabric. Look how clean it is. Look at this. And all this because, oh, I unthread. All this because I use the thread holder from the front to the back. I was surprised that to know that not too many people knew this. And there's a lady who made a video. Let me take my note. Her name is Ellen Selling. She's part of the um, Janome Continental M7 sewing machine group. And she made a close-up video. You know, I'm not a quilter. So it seems to be a big thing for quilter that the beginning of the, um, the stitches are neat, not bulky. So she made a close-up video. Oh, you see it very well. I thank her for this. Huh? So um, you can uh, visit her visit the little video on the group I told you. So this, I wanted to show you how clean it was. And I wanna add something else. So it is the sewing month. So I took a cheat, we call that, what do we call this? Cheat panel. And here I use 100% cotton, size 35. I'll do a close-up. So you see? And I use different stitches. I, I, they're, they're not the, uh, are they the same? I don't even remember what I did. No, no, there's two stitches here. So you see, to pretend that I assembled them together, I sewed them together, just to pretend. But it's a nice effect, okay? It looks like I did it by hand. Look at this. It's not perfectly perfectly straight but to have a different effect you have to ask many times at least three times the same design if you only ask one okay let me go back it'll be the same all the way but by adding ah, oh, look i'm adding do you see changes oh no you see better this way yeah look I see them changes. So that's that's the secret of the hand look. And I have another one also to show you. Another just fun panel. It's a sewing month, so <laughs> let's sew. Huh? Okay. Here I use a variegated thread. And I change design. This one I change design because I want to show many things, you know. It's just that you have to show so many things to help people. And this one is really what they recommend. I use a rayon size 30. So this is what they recommend. But 35 is perfect. 40 is perfect. One last thing I want to show you. I realize that uh, people, um, well, we need to learn. Huh? I'll move the camera again. Okay, so I make a mistake. I'll make a bobo. In purpose okay so okay um, let's say my thread ay, ay, ay. you want to do it wrong the machine won't let you let's say your thread is very short too short you want to start to sew What's going on? The machine tells me, hey, uh, no, no lower thread huh? or the tra thread is broken. But you did a few stitches. Oh, uh, you have to, uh, again, to program and ask again. No. There's a future, a feature, a feature on the machine that will allow you to not, you will not have to, reprogram the um, the whole thing you will just to have you just have to push here and the machine the stitches will start right 
it, right at the beginning of the design. Right at the beginning. Well, I'll stop. You understand what the sequence means now? Huh? This is just one design. I'll use the thread cutter because 40 is, there's no problem with the 40. Of, unfortunately, it doesn't cut the beginning because it, it's in the thread holder. So, so you see, do I have a mess here? No, nothing, no mess at the back. Well, I'm going to graduate. <laughs> okay. So this is what I have to show, what I had to show you today. And also I want to tell you about the AccuSpark software and in this workbook continental m7 workbook they talk about that that, um, that category hand stitch style category okay they talk about you and they give you an exercise to to do and of course why do we use these these um the, the, these type of stitches, well, of course, huh? crazy patchwork. Huh? And you know what? This is just a little sample. I made them all uh, as much as I could for the stitches because I want to understand. But can you believe this takes me hours to do? But at least you can explain to people. You can experiment and explain to people what you can do. And this is a real thick thread. But I recommend that picture. This is size 12, okay? So I really push the machine. But I recommend when the stitch is light. When the stitch is dense, it's not nice. Anyway, not, not my taste. I, I, you know, I, I don't like this. It's, it's, it's too much. It's too tight, okay? But something open, different stitch open, I really like. Okay? That's my taste. Okay, so um, I just want to sh make sure. So when you use it, I have my notes. Terrible, but I have my notes. So I want to make sure. You need first to stabilize your fabric. Use foot F2 or F. And you need the purple tip needle. Of course, it cuts better with Janome scissors. Huh? Of course, huh? if it's not Janome, it'll cut anyway. But, okay. And, uh, okay, I, I want to uh, recognize, I'll show you this category, I told you. Okay, at you spark, I told you. Oh, well, I guess I told you everything. So I remove my glasses and I'll come back to my face. And again, I thank you for watching me. Am I too early, too late? Should I talk more? Um, don't forget if you make me a comment, if you write a comment, to add, please, um, your Genome sewing machine model or models with S, because some of you have many, many Genome uh, models. So for today, I thank you. I'm here again next Tuesday. So see you next week. And in the meantime, practice with your machine your stitches and your functionality of your machine. Bye-bye, everybody.